Are you sewing a cosplay that has a part that needs to defy the laws of gravity? Or do you need some help creating some support within your garment? Then here are some tips and tricks just for you. The first method we will look at is the mounting method. This is where you cut out your pattern piece on your normal fabric, but will also cut out the pattern onto your stabilizing base. This can be done through sewing or in some cases, gluing. Let's start with the lightest weight stabilizing base and work our way right through to the ultimate defying gravity base. First up, we have organza. If you're working with a sheer fabric like chiffon and need a little bit of support in places like a collar or a cuff, you can add a layer of organza to it. If you need something with a little bit more oomph though, the next one up is tulle. Tulle comes in a range of different strengths from very soft bridal tulle right up to something that almost resembles the thickness of fly wire. I used a strip of tulle in the bottom of this waterfall tail piece to help give it a little bit more definition within the folds. Next up, we have interfacing. This is probably the most common stabilization material used within sewing. It comes in a range of different thicknesses, from lightweight all the way through to heavyweight. As you can see here, the heavyweight interfacing is much more rigid than the thin interfacing, but it might not work as well if you're using a lightweight fabric, so keep that in mind when making your selection. Interfacing also comes in two sorts, fusible or ironing and sewable. You can tell fusible interfacing as one side will have little glue dots on it. These will fuse to fabric when you iron it in. On the other hand, you'll be able to tell sewable interfacing as there's no glue dots and it looks identical on both sides. Interfacing can be used from everything from collars to cuffs to bows, really anything that needs some extra support, especially if it's flimsy material. Next up is buckram. Buckram is used mostly in hats and bags, but here in cosplay land, we use everything, right? Buckram is sewable and is very rigid. You can create some serious defying gravity action with it. The downside, it doesn't like doing sharp curves, so be aware of that. I've used it in hats, throughout an entire bodice, in bows, and even as a mounting technique to help stabilize a light in resin surrounded by warbler into a bodice. Oh, I love buckram. Lastly for the mounting techniques is foam. Foam comes in a range of different thicknesses and amazing shapes can be created from it. I've personally not used foam as a base, but it's essentially like creating foam armor, except once the shape is there, you cover it then with fabric and glue it down. Now let's shift to some other options that can help you with adding some stabilization to your garments. Starting with good old fashioned starch. This is good to use if you want to add a little bit of crispness to the fabric. It is simple as spraying it onto the fabric and ironing. It looks great for locking in pleats. Next up is horsehair braid. It comes in various widths and is often used in the hems of skirt to give it a wave effect. Here is an example of horsehair braid quickly pinned into a circle skirt. Now on to boning. Boning comes in a wide variety of options. The ones shown here are plastic, spiral steel and flat steel boning. Plastic boning is the cheapest option, but it can be quite flimsy depending on the quality. Spiral steel is very flexible, but offers good support for cosplays that require a lot of movement in. And flat steel boning is the most rigid. To add boning into a cosplay, you create channels into the garment, usually into the lining. I found it to be a good idea to sew the channels to be a couple of millimetres wider than your boning width. And when cutting the boning, to cut it about two centimetres shorter than the finished garment length, so that the edges are not hard pressed up against the seams. As you've probably guessed, boning is used a lot in giving structural support in bodices and corsets. And lastly, we have wire. Wire is super accessible and comes in different degrees of thicknesses. It can be used to support the edges of a garment or to allow it to be bent into a particular shape. Wire is easy enough to work with. Cut the length that you require and seal off the edges. Here I'm bending it back on itself. Then secure it to your base like this buckram strip by either using tape or bulldog clips. Finally, sew it in, either by hand or by using a very wide zigzag stitch on your sewing machine if it will allow it. Here is an example of where I've used wire in the top of a hat. And that's it from me for now. I hope you've discovered some new materials or techniques that you might like to give a go in your next cosplay. As always, 
Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel.